So today I'm going to show you how to make an isometric tile map with assets from Kenny. Uh, I just really like this particular set that he made and it's free, so I will have a link in the description. So you'll have to go over to Kenny's website and these are actually categorized as 3D models. So you could also make a 3D game with the same assets, but he also provides the PNG files for just pictures to make an isometric tile map. So when you open up this file, you'll see that there are the 3D models, but then you can also have the isometric PNGs instead. And you will want to go through these and uh, just take the ones that are actually the tiles that you want. There's a lot of UFOs and enemies. Uh, I guess on a Mac you can just search like enemy or snow and take out whatever you want. There's just far too many assets to just stick all of them in. Now, if there's a few extras in there, it, it's not going to hurt anything. So once you pick out all of the assets that you want, I suggest putting them into a folder. We're going to make the tile set first. So you open up a new scene. I like to just put a node 2D and label it tile set. Then we're going to go down to these assets that we want to drag in. And we're just going to... Just grab them all, dump them all in the middle, and then you'll get a huge list of sprites. And since we're going to just have a top-down view, we're not going to bother with collisions or anything. We're just going to convert this to a tile set. And I'm going to have it just be the basic tile set. Now you technically can use this interface down here and add each tile individually and I just didn't want to do it that way. So after making a tile map node, you should go to the mode and change it from square to isometric and then change the size of the cell to 128 by 64. Now you'll want to go here and load that same tile set into here and you should end up with a whole bunch of icons here for everything that you need. But one thing that you'll notice is everything shifted down and this looks extremely awkward how you can see that where I place the tile is way off of where the, the cursor is. And the reason for that is when you look at this, uh, the, the file that Kenny made is a 5... 12 by 512 square, where the actual icon is just 128 by 64 in the middle. I don't know why he made such a large file, but I didn't want to go in and edit every single file, so we're just going to go with the 512 and then set an offset to each tile. When you place a tile, it looks like it's way off. And to be exact, it's one and a half tiles to the left and four and a half tiles up. And so if you actually want to get the tile in the correct spot, we'll have to go back to the tile set. And so I'm actually working on this one tile. I guess I had 143 of them. You go to this right here, the texture offset. And so to go to the left, we need to go negative. And I said the tile width is 128. And if you don't want to do mental math, uh, I'll let you in on a secret that computers do math. So you can just type in multiply by 1.5. And then you go 64. Remember, we want to go up. So it's negative 64 times 4.5. And you end up with tiles going where they're supposed to. Now, that only worked for that one tile. See, this one is still way off. And it would be absolutely absurd to go through all 143 of these silly tiles and set the texture that way. So an easier way to do that would be to write a script for this tile map. Now it only takes a few lines of code, but in the ready function, we're going to set 
the t each offset for each one of those tiles. So uh, again, you have to have the extends tile map, and this is the offset that we want. And for each tile, and this uh, tile set dot get tiles IDs that just returns an array of all of the tiles. So we want to get the size of that array. So this way, this will work no matter how many tiles you add into your tile set. And for each one of those, we're going to set the texture offset. And when you use this function, you need the ID, which will just go up with each time we go through the loop. And then we're going to set it to that offset. Now, to actually get this to work in the editor, you have to use the tool function. And one thing that you'll notice, I put it in the ready function because I don't really want it to run in the physics process during the actual game. I don't even want to have a check to see if it's in the editor. I just want to do it once and be done, but it hasn't done it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this scene and reload that uh, that scene. And as you can see, now it works for every single one of them. And I believe that you can even get rid of this script now. And it will still maintain even if you... Uh, we'll save and close. Even if you open it up again, it changed everything in the editor and it saved all of that. So that's a quick way to just change 143 texture offsets. The reason why you can't just rotate like a, a road like this so it goes the other direction is since we have that texture offset, if you click the rotate button, it'll rotate that 512 square that I talked about, and it, it obviously doesn't work. Now one last tip I have, so like I said, there's a, there's a ton of these tiles, and most of them have a north, south, east, west version of them. So if you actually scroll this out so that there's four, and don't forget that you can adjust the size of the icons. But if you go out to four, then each row is a different type of tile, and it just has the east, north, south, west. Now, as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I hope you like this video.